nila laging merong hard engage, laging mm. merong isang team fight ultimate na makapagbabago ng side or probably set up yung tempo nila dito. And this is game number two, ladies and gentlemen. Aura, PH versus Blacklist International. And back to you. <laughs> back to us. Back to us. <laughs> so, yeah. considering yung draft natin dito, Wolf, sinabi mo nga na walang mage. Dito mm -hmm. yung Blacklist International. They don't have the Harris, but uh, wala sila dun para mid lane mage. Mid lane mage, yes. Uh, Gano'n ka ano to? Gano'n ka detrimental to sa mga first few phases ng game natin? Well, ganito kasi yan. Kailangan may isang hero na siya yung kukuha nung, nung parang uh, mid lane. Kasi if you're looking at the meta sa ngayon, lalong lalo na dahil sa mga changes sa jungle, yung jungler mo, which is the Yi Sun Chin or the part of Blacklist International, magkufocus talaga siya dun sa jungler. Kasi hindi nila masusulit. Kaya naman, na sumisikat yung mga Kagura, your Eve, your Farsa, your Lunox, kasi sila yung kumukuha ng lahat ng minions sa may mid lane. Para pagdating ng Turtle Fight, level 4 sila lahat. Wala ako nakikita ganun sa Blacklist International. Bukod dyan, uh, Butters, wala din silang initiate, uh, uh, initial nukes. Wala silang early game nukes na tinatawag natin yung mga burst damage. Hindi katulad ng Lunox, ng Kagura, even yung Chang'o, yung Farsa, all of the mages, di ba? Wala silang ganun. And now, ang kokontrolin ni uh, Oh My Venus is the Popolid Koopa. So more on supporting pa to. Kumuha siya ng average, by the way. And he wants to poke his opponent. Tandaan uh, natin na meron din. Pwede din maging, uh, pwede rin mag-shift ng roads dito. Mamaya-maya si Oh My Venus. They give it the chance. Pero Esa dito, ito lang din yung same thing na ginagawa niya earlier. And gagamit niya dito. Gagamitin niya dito yung second skill niya to get away, pero hindi titigil dito yung Aura PH, tingin ko. Now, this is Matilda, man. Uh, Matilda, nag-connect na dun sa may bandang uh, um, uh, river area, almost uh, above the green buff. Tapos, meron kang, uh, mer meron kang damage output. But I think tatlo yung uh, kukuha dun kay Eson. So, after the perfect match, I'm sure that they will not stop. Ngayon, uh, tingnan natin kung mapipigilan sila ni uh, Oh My Venus uh, and the Yi Sun Chin. But I think that this will be a kill on to Eson if... Uh, itutuloy nga ng Aura PH. And then again, we are seeing Aura PH right now. One more win. They can take the series. Pero syempre, hindi naman papayag dito ang kapunan ng Blacklist International as mm -hmm. you're seeing on your screens now na matapos lang to ng ganun-ganun lang. Yep. A lot of the games or a lot of the teams na a lot of the series na nangyari kahapon actually pareho sila, maba tayo ng game number 3. And I wouldn't be surprised. Sabi nga ni Manjin kanina dun yep. sa may panel na gusto niya, uh, tingin niya abot ng game 3. Kasi tingin ko din, may chance to na no, umabot talaga ng game 3. I wanna say, because of the Harris na available para sa Blacklist International, they do have a way para pumalag sa late game. Ang scary lang kasi is meron sa kanyang counter, which is the Bane. Well, dati, counter ang Bane. And they, di na nila tutuloy. Uh, nasabi dito ni JP, mas mahalaga na makuha ko itong uh, green buff. And by the way, Claude in the late game na uh, naka-killing spree as a jungler. It's also scary. Also, do take note, Kiluash is there. Isa sa mga favorite niyang gawin ay uh, pumatay ng Harris. Nakilang beses ko na nakita to pag show ang hawak niya. Yun yung ginagawa ng mga teams na, na, na sinalihan niya laban sa isang Harris. And uh, look at this, the former teammates dito, Greed and Oh My Venus. Sila nagtatapat dito and this is a match na talagang a, a rematch or a matchup na talagang inaabangan ng mga fans dati. Kasi syempre, may history itong dalawang to eh, na talagang mag-teammate sila. Kamu hindi ka nila makuha ang championship, yep. pero hindi talaga gumana. And right now, under different banners, pero isa lang din, pareho, pareho lang din yung goal nila makuha yung championship. Ah, that's absolutely right. And look at this, Mountain Shocker Goose. 1 minute and 30 seconds in. This means na... Um, and yung pipili ang Blacklist International kung saan sila gagalaw. Is this going to be the top lane kung saan nandun ang Bane? Or magpo-farm ba? Nang tuloy-tuloy lang dito ang Yisun Chin. I think yung bottom lane ang, mo, ang target ng pare sa teams as the turtle is there. Mm -hmm. Right now, Kilowash and Edward pareho sila na nasa isip actually. Tumatambay sila sa mga brush. First turtle is up. Tingnan natin dito kung paano sasagot yung aura. Aura. Tingin ko wala sa ay wala sa ano nila eh. Wala sa ay tinakakita talaga nila nung una na mag-turtle. Nung nakita nila nandoon na yung Blacklist International, baka napipilitan sila ngayon gumalaw papunta doon sa area na yon. One thing na adva na advantage and advantages para sa Blacklist International is kapag sila yung nauna or nakapwesto ah. muna doon sa mga objectives, it's actually very good for the team. Lalong-lalo na meron silang YSS. Very quick 
when it comes to taking turtles and turrets that also do with the lord samantala meron silang uh, uh, vision coming out from the popolin kupa tapos meron silang big tea fight uh, hero like the atlas although hindi pa available yung ultimate atlas sa ngayon imagine the second and the third turtle or even the fourth kung magkaroon the fourth turtle maganda ang uh, mangyayari para sa Blacklist International pag sila ang nauna sa pwestuhan. Mm -hmm. Do take note, this time ginagamit nila yung Pakito. In game number one, sa first turtle lang nila nagamit si Pakito para sa isang uh, objective taking. But, um, uh, isang objective taking timing. But this time, ginamit agad nila si Pakito. Kailangan nilang ulit-ulit gamit ito unlike the previous game. Okay. So now, let's talk about Oheb dito. And Oheb, to be honest, Etong etong pangalan ng Oheb talagang umaangat eh. Mm -hmm. Talagang nagme-make gumagawa siya ng ingay para sa pangalan niya yeah. dahil sa play niya. And uh meron kasi streak para sa akin si Coach Bonsan na parang yung mga talents na kinukuha niya nagkakaroon talaga ng pwesto mm -hmm. or nas scout din ng mga ibang teams papunta or lumilipat din sa mga ibang teams. So parang alam mo yon, automatic na nagiging superstar din yung mga nakukuha ni Coach Bonsan. Yeah. No? May mata talaga si Coach Bonsan para sa mga talents. I eh, no? kind of feel so and Oheb now is really performing well para sa Blacklist International at katulad nga ng sinabi natin namang ang Blacklist International sa early game objectives. However, yung Claude kasi sa early game sabihin natin hindi siya ganun kalupit when it comes to just taking objectives or uh, being aggressive. Yung Taylor siya nakitin, doon siya mas lalakas. For Blacklist International, kailangan nilang i-take advantage yun. Huwag nila nga hayaang makapag-farm itong si Claude, si JP. You have to be aggressive starting from now on. Mm -hmm. Pero dito yung aggression na gaganap sa may gitna. And it seems to me that Greed, talagang pinapwesto niya din yung sarili niya sa mid para walang choice si Venus kung di mag-stay doon. Mm -hmm. Kasi mapupush at mapupush yung mga lane na yan. That's true. At um, uh, nag-favor yan para sa Aura PH dahil uh, as uh, long as walang kumukuha ng mid lane or at least namuforce nga naman yung si Omay Venus na i-clear itong lane na to mas maganda yan kasi it also means na hindi makakarespo si Omay Venus sa kanyang mga teammates mm -hmm. and given the mobility na mayroon tong dalawa mas mapanig ka sa Matilde mm -hmm. and right now there is a fight happening Ladies and gentlemen, Eson dito, pumasok sa dalawa, Fatal Lick! Nagkahulihan na! Oheb dito, dealing a lot of damage, Oheb kinain yung Shark Attack, pero hindi yun enough. Greed dito, try to get away! Cyclone ay wise, tatama ba yung Pana? Ooh. Hindi! Hindi tatama yung Pana! Flicker out at the last possible moment, last possible second, Greed with the place. Greed with the place. However, the better play, syempre para kay Eson. Nagtago siya dun sa may top lane, dun sa may bush before that uh, turret, which is pretty smart. At dun tumakbo muna si Oheb. Alam niya kasi nandun si Kuya Eson niya. Hindi siya muna nagpop na kanyang Zaman Force until such time that the Fatal Links were there. At uh, do take note, ang ganda nung timing ni Omay Venus. Wrapping around from the middle, papunta dun sa may top lane. Kaya naman nakuha niya yung kill kay Roflesha. Hindi man nakuha ng 3 uh, complete kills ang... Blacklist International, we are saying na pag sila ay aggressive, pag tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang aggression, it's gonna be good for their team. Ngayon, ha? The farm on the Claude, they're gonna be happy. They're also waiting for Cho to get items at maghintay lang sila ng mid-game kung saan na mas malakas na sila. Eson dito, medyo pinok ng onte ni Greed. Actually, hindi nga poke yun eh. Harapan na ginawa yun. And JP dito, mas nakapwesto sila agad. Eso on to the back line. Sagyan natin kung makakatakas ba dito si JP. And JP with the dash. Look at this play. Blazing to win. Twice goes down. At ang sumay pinakalikot ni Eso on dito. Mga kaibigan, lumalaban at nahatak ko. Yung work ng mic ko. Pero okay lang yan. Edward on to the side lane. Sagyan natin kung paano nila gagawin to. Kilowash and the others are just gonna back out. JP dito. Na retribution niya yung turtle sa kanila ang turtle buff what a play coming up from Kilowash with a wave of the dragon sa pinaka magandang target which is wise the jungler of Blacklist International hindi lang yung pinaka malayaman dapat sana para sa Blacklist International but also the retribution holder kaya nga naman after that fight kahit ba ma-fatal links ni Eson ang mga members ng Aura PH it won't matter turtle will be given to Aura PH dahil sa retribution And we can see in the replay ngayon, Kilowash with a wonderful play. It won't matter kung ano na ang mga maging ang kasunod na laban na yun. And by the way, napakagad na paggamit ng ultimate coming out from, ba from Benny Cutie. Bane ni Cutie, kumbaga. Coming in from that bush, dun sa may mid lane, para hindi siya makita. Perfect. 
And all that day. instant replay is brought to you by Oppo A94 Experience Gaming at full speed with Oppo A94. Available starting March 26 in Oppo Concept Stores, Retail Partners, and Ecom Platforms. Going back into the game, Aura Dito. Nahanap na nila yung break nila, Wolf. Yep, definitely. Katulad ng sinabi natin, naghintay lang sila ng kanilang mga items or at least yung the proper timings for their skills. At um, nakikita natin na kapag ang Blacklist International ay pangit ang quest 2 ay uh, doon sila nangyayari. Like, that kill, although, that is going to be a very important kill para sa Blacklist Benicute International. Benicute dito, hinahabol talaga siya. And Oh, Battle oh, oh. of Aquatic Animals ata itong nangyayari dito eh. Meron tayong isang nagpapating. Pero sabi nila Claude, tama na yan, tigil na yan. Nandito na kami. And Eson dito will go down then. That is two kills for their side. Pero tignan mo damage dito. Venus taking down Ooh. JP. Venus dito. Mapabuhay pa ba siya? Oh, Greed! God. Oh my goodness! Oh my Venus! Don't doubt oh my Venus kung uh, nasanay tayo na nagsusupport. <laughs> Hard support, see oh my Venus with all the sustain, with the Rafaela, with the Matilda, with the Digi. This time, killer, see oh my Venus. And uh, what was that? He was farming the mid lane, didn't doubt natin yung kanilang power. By the way, we going in for the Thunder Belt first. Kaya nga naman ang taas ng damage output doon. And rat wrap around, hindi mo i expect nagagawin ni oh my Venus. And really turned it around para sa Blackwood International. Sabi ni Venus doon, itabi nyo, ako na. Anak, itabi pero, nyo ako na. <laughs> pero Benny Cutie na naman dito yung target. At ito yung sagot ng Blackwood International sa ginagawang uh, Bane Place dito ng Aura PH. Pero bago natin puntahan yan, Matilda dito, tutumba. Wise next sa target, Blazing Duet. Hindi enough yan. And Harith dito, tutumba yung Claude. Ooh. Three members down for the side of Aura. Hindi man sabay-sabay nangyari yun, pero still, that is going to be space para sa Blacklist International. Uh, more importantly, yung pwesto ng Blacklist International gave them the victory for that specific skirmish. Hindi din natansya ni JP na pag nag-BMI in siya, talagang mapapatay siya ng Blacklist International. Then, maganda yung uh, pag-reserve uh, or conserve ng Blacklist International sa kanila mga skills, particularly on Oh My Venus with his stuns. Tapos, naligtas nila si Wise dahil hinahabol siya ni JP na pa-BMI in na yung Claude. And they duly punished Aura PH for that. Wait, no. Back oh. online na, Blacklist International. Sinipa. Sure. At eto na, Kilowash dito. Nagkamali siya. Ano pangalawang Jeet Kundo. Pero, the attempt was there. Pero kitang-kita siya dito. Oh, Pwede so, siya nga bulin. Pero si Paquito naman, yung na-takedown. Doon sa kabilang side ng mapa. And Kilowash dito, napaaga yung oh shoot po niya. God. And that is going to be the punish. Parehong... Parehong side laners ang natanggal dito para sa side ng both teams. My goodness, Eson with a perfect timing para sa kanyang shadow mask. Hinintay niya na magkamali nga ng Shunpo, tas tsaka na siya nag-ultimate. He knows na kaya kaya nila na kill and that uh, shadow mask helped him position himself. And this is gonna be scary. Kung kanina ay nasa shutdown yung Tigreal ni Eson for Blacklist International ngayon, he's really, really online and he's a threat almost all the time. Eson, yung proficiency niya, yung galing niya sa paggamit ng mga ganitong initiation hero na ikita natin ngayon. Hindi man ganun kaganda yung naging performance niya dun sa Mighty Grill, pero given the chance na magamit niya itong Atlas na to, ipupull at ipupull niya talaga yung trigger. Hahanapin at hahanapin niya yung mga gandang targets. Oh, obviously, nakikita natin ang Blacklist International taking advantage of the of their advantage. Kumbaga, lalo oh, tama, tama naman, tama naman. Lagi, lalo nilang inabuse. And look at that! Demon Hunter Sword! Oh my Venus, nako, hindi na to supporting Oh my Venus. Yung Reyna sumama sa gera. Yung Reyna sumama na nga talaga sa gera. And I know that all of the the VY spam is so happy sa ngayon, lalong lalo na dahil galit na si Ma'am Shoes. At eto ang sinasabi natin eh, si Coach Bonchan at itong Blacklist International, hindi talaga sila magba-back down sa mga creative ways on how to play their own supports or yung mid lane rather so ibig sabihin dito Blacklist International they are very well on their way into taking this game number 2 but for the side of Aura naman ang kailangan natin bantayan sa kanila is yung scaling nila yes JP isn't go doing good now pero kailangan pa rin pansinin eh meron pa rin chance na mabalitan nila to pero Benny Cutie with a shark attack hindi din ganun ka impactful yung Bane dito. Yeah, well, I guess because of the fact that RPH only all, only use that for clearing waves. Wala naman silang uh, hindi naman nila aim na makipag fight talaga nung time na yun. Gusto lang nilang patagalin pa itong laban. And Kiluwash, eto na. Sabi na, it's uh, 
Operation uh, Speed Push para kay Kilo Wash na alam natin na uh, ginagawa talaga ng Aura PH lalong lalo na pag binigyan nila ng uh, Map Control Heroes si Kilo Wash Ato, Oplan habulin si Kilo Wash at ito na kinaagat na siya ng sobrang daming tao dito hinahanap yung pana nandun at hindi makakataka si Kilo Wash dito may checkpoint <laughs> Yeah, it was over, always protected from Blackness International. Hinabo niya may Venus at ni Wise, tapos merong uh, backup. Walang magagawa doon yung Aura PH. Now, ang, ang mangyayari, they will concede the Lord for sure. And Or time, will they? Or will they? Without Kiluwash, <laughs> it's gonna be really difficult. Lalong lalong na itong si Rafflesh. Oh, they will. <laughs> That is a very bad decision from him. Okay, grid dito. Nag-trickle in sila. Nag-audition sila dito. Pumasok sila isa-isa. Edward. And that only means na ang daming space para sa Blackness International dito. Kunin na lang talaga yung Lord. And that Lord is going to be to their side. Good news for Aura fans naman dito. Hindi pa to yung Luminous Lord. I you can see naman para sa Blackness International, ginagamit nila yung kanilang kit. We did say kanina na pag sila yung nauna sa pwestuan sa mga ob big objectives, the macro objectives like Turtles and Lords, sila yun na kuha na. Hindi, parang imposible para sa Aura PH na, na rumibat. Lalong lalo na kasi may extra vision coming out from uh, Oh My Venus's um, Popol and Koopa. Kaya nga naman sakit. And, uh, oh, 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 may drawing! <laughs> may drawing! Nakita niyo yun! Sabi ni, sabi doon, yun yung trap! Yun yung trap. So, abangan yung mga drawing na yan. Masterful yan. <laughs> Look at Eson. Just zoning them out. Eh, threat na ngayon si Eson for sure. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. Benny Cute, meron pa rin siyang ultimate. Though. They can use that for clearing the waves. And, uh, tingnan lang natin kung gagamitin niya. Kasi, napakalaking teamfight capability. Teamfight uh, ultimate din niyang skill na yan. Shark attack, binato na nga. Pero yung Lord dito, tutumba oh, na. Sorry. And here comes the fight. Blood will go down. And this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading to a game number three. Blacklist International with a dominating performance. Dominating is an understatement. I love the fact that, oh my Venus, this time is angry. Nakikita nyo ngayon parang really commanding position. And masasabi ko yung turn, big turn around para sa laban na to ay dahil dun sa double kill na kinuha ni Oh My Venus onto the top lane. Tama na sa mga Rafaela. Tama na sa sustain.